Yo, what's poppin'? People, your boy Snacks, back in the building with another banger. And you know how we do. Before we get started, go ahead and do your boy a solid. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And do not forget to turn your post notification bell on so you'll know when your boy is going live or dropping this heat. Click that join button, man, right there down at the bottom. Click that join button. Join the member section. We get down in there. And most of my videos go in the member section before they go live on the freaking channel. You see the title of this video. So you know what we finna get into. Before and after Colorado beats Kansas State, college football will be turned on its head. And I will tell you the reasons why. Right after this. Welcome to the future of Colorado football. Whoo, boy. Listen, man. This game with Kansas State is coming up on Saturday night. Not prime time. This is the Big Ten, Big 12 after dark. And it's going to be wild. It's going to be deep. It's going to be 10, 12, 13 million people watching this game. Maybe one, because it's probably going to be the last game on the air that night. But, well, <laughs> no, it won't be the last game on air that night. But it will be one of the most popular games on air that late at night. Penn State. We'll be on probably beating the brakes off of USC right before the Colorado game. Penn State should win the Big Ten. Everybody called me crazy, but I'm telling y'all, Penn State should win the Big Ten. Ohio State should lose to Oregon on Saturday. The football world is going to be turned upside down. And after Colorado beats Kansas State, which will give them their fifth win of the season. That moniker of four and eight will be off Colorado and Coach Prime. He will be surpassed yet last year's winning total, which that within itself is a feat that no one thought would happen this year. I think the win total is four and a half or five for the uh, for the betting prowess. Um, I know I made my bet when they first opened in the season. I don't even know what's there. I had a hundred dollars, drop it on there, wait for the seed, know with or when they pass that mark, give me my money. That's all I care about. Because, like I said, Colorado was gonna be their floor was 10 and 2, their ceiling was 12 and 0, and they still only lost one game. The pundits had them coming into this game two and three, one and four, three and two at best. Everybody had Colorado losing at Nebraska. Some people had them losing at CSU and losing to uh, Baylor or UCF which is crazy within itself because the dynamic of the team shows that they won't lose. But let's get back into why Colorado wins this. When, after Colorado beats Kansas State, the college football world will be on its head because now one win, bowl game. Three more wins, Probably Big 12 championship minimum. Because if you at your nine wins, BYU and Iowa State have to play each other. Uh, Texas Tech, BYU is going to take their first L this weekend. So we're not worried about that. Texas Tech has to play Colorado. So 
that's going to take care of itself. Arizona State has to play BYU and Iowa State. So I'm still rooting for my Sun Devils in that one. So don't even, don't, just don't hate. But like I said, once Colorado gets this fifth win, the narrative of Colorado will change. Everybody has picked Colorado to lose this game. I don't know why. But once Colorado wins this game, the narrative around Colorado will change. Everything that Coach Prime has done till this point would have changed. And all of a sudden, I call it how Coach Prime put this team together means something. Oh, now you feel me. Now you feel me. Now, that spotlight that was there at the first of the year, all of a sudden, at the first of the year last year, all of a sudden, all that returns back to Colorado. But now, it's not first of the year. We passed the first three games, first four games of the season. Now we're in the middle of the season. That means Fox and ESPN going to be heading up, see who's going to get them time slots every week. Colorado has been televised on every major network, including ESPN, on all five, six of their games this season. Seven, because Arizona is already set to be televised. The first seven games of Colorado's season has already been set to be televised. We know eight because Oklahoma State is already set to be televised. Now the question becomes, how many times Big Noon and ESPN game day show up? That's the question. Now the narrative switches around Colorado and Coach Prime. Oh, shit. Coach Prime can coach. Oh, shit. That staff that he's put together is true. Oh, shit. That defensive coordinator he hired is for real. Oh, Prime was just hiring a bunch of friends. Prime was hiring old retired NFL guys. Then all of a sudden, College programs start looking at uh, what Coach Prime got over there. And how is he making this happen? And other colleges, other colleges around the country going, hey, I need me something else. Who got the NFL hookup? Who do we know in our circle that is retired? Old NFL player, Hall of Famer. We got anybody on our from our school that is a retired Hall of Famer, young enough and able to relate to these players that we can hire and put on staff that might want to be a part of this. All of a sudden, hiring them brothers don't look so crazy anymore. All of a sudden, Florida State, Texas A&M, TCU, who else? There's one more out there I'm forgetting. All y'all look like dummies for not wanting to put up with Coach Prime and his antics. That's what you call it. All of a sudden, Rick George looked like the smartest man in the country. He already looked like that anyway. He already is that anyway. For hiring Coach Prime, Jeremy Bloom. He's one of the smartest alumni in the world for pushing for Rick George to hire Coach Prime. Because what has Coach Prime done for this program? He's transformed it in a matter of months, year and a half, almost two years. At the end of the season, will be two years. All those pundits that said, what Coach Prime doing? Getting rid of all these players is not going to work. And all of a sudden, oh, shit, it worked. 
Oh, I might have been wrong about what Prime do. But everybody's going to try to do what he did. Just going to be one thing missing. Prime. Only person can do what Prime is doing is Coach Prime. Nobody else in the coaching hemisphere can do what Coach Prime is doing. Nobody has that kind of clout. Nobody has that kind of moxie. Nobody has that kind of want to, faith, or drive to do what Coach Prime has done. Coach Prime brought his own fan base with him. Every coach in the country don't have a fan base. The team has a fan base. No singular coach in college football has their own fan base that travels with them wherever they go. No one. I don't care what level of coaching they're on. NFL coaches don't have that kind of club. Brian is the only college coach that can do what he has done in this era. And now they're scared. Once this win takes place, everybody is frightened. Because you know what? Flip season. The four and five stars that you had committed early in the season. Oh, they've been watching. They've been watching the whole time. And when Prime them start reaching out. And them business start getting deeper and deeper. And when commitment season come around. And all of a sudden, Prime got three, four, five stars. Wait a minute, how you do that? All of a sudden, he got quarterbacks, wide receivers, and linemen, and linebackers wanting to come to his program. Not because of prime, but because of what they put together on the field. See, prime has changed the landscape of college football. Once this season is done, and they're in the Big 12 championship, College football will never be the same. I'm telling you this now so everybody else can tell you this later on in the season. Just like I told you all of this was happening before the season started. See, but if you watch me, I'll let you know before it gets there. And later on, you will hear why. Colorado will beat Kansas State, but I'm going to say that for another video. Because everybody has picked Kansas State to beat Colorado, and it's just not such a thing. It's really not such a thing. See, because right now, we're stuck on this premise of why the whole football world is going to be turned upside down after Colorado beat Kansas. Because after Colorado beats Kansas, everybody sees Colorado differently. Because everybody thinks that Kansas is one of the top teams in the Big 12. When I've been saying all season, Colorado has the best roster in the Big 12. Colorado has the best players in the Big 12. Colorado has the best coaches in the Big 12. 12. And if you think I'm lying, prove it to me. Find me a quarterback better than Shadur. Find me a wide receiving court better than the first four. Let's not, we ain't gonna even go to the second four. Find me a top four receiving court in the Big 12. That's better than Colorado. Find me. Two safeties that in the Big 12 better than what Colorado had. Find me two linebackers better than Levante Bentley, Nakai Hill Green. Find me two. Find me a nose top in the Big 12 better than Chidoze Wonkwo, the block bullet. Find me a left tackle 
and he a freshman in the Big 12. That's better than Jordan C. Find me a left guard that's better than Rock. I'm asking you, find me that in the Big 12. Everybody looking at Arizona and Tetsuroa. That's a one-two punch. That's it. After that, it's gone. I told y'all, Oklahoma State wants you to take away that running back. They ain't got nothing. Y'all not listening to me. BYU found a rhythm. That, now that, I did not see coming. I already know Utah was going to do Utah. They're going to win some games, but they're going to lose three. Because they 98-year-old quarterback ain't playing, and that's who they rely on. When it comes to them tough games and being able to close out, Utah is not going to win those games. I told y'all, Kansas was going to fold like paper napkins. Before the season started, Kansas ain't what y'all thought it was. West Virginia over there holding it down, like I said they would. Houston, they bringing it on. They getting it together because they changed their quarterback. They finally figured it out. But like I've been telling y'all, Colorado is the best team in the Big 12. Prove me wrong. Show me otherwise. Everybody looking at the stats. All about this team does this better. This team does that better. But what I'm telling you, as a unit, Colorado can't be touched. Front line, defensive line, offensive line. You will watch on Saturday. That's for another video. Get back to what I was in here for. Because I was going to go on my rant and ain't going to do that right now. Let me get back to what I was in here for. Why are these people going to lose their mind when Colorado wins? Because now Colorado is not just let me wait and see. Colorado is that dude. Shadur told y'all, we everybody Super Bowl, so we know we're going to get everybody's best shot. But now that the college world will have to respect what Coach Prime is doing. See, all y'all talking behind closed doors and wishing on his downfall, hoping that he fails because you know he already don't have to go in nobody's house and recruit. He already don't have to leave Colorado to do the things that you have to leave your state, your school to do. And when he starts winning, it makes it even easier to do those things. To send out your surrogate, to send out your assistant coaches, your offense coordinators, your defensive coordinators. Where the hell did Livingston come from is what they're saying right now. See, but Mr. Hilo is up in that box watching. And they putting them brains together. And see, y'all, next thing is to jump on the prime bandwagon and try to get all his coaches and try to pull them all off, slow him down. But once Prime starts winning, the college world will be upside down and on its head. Because not only do you now have to pay attention, you have to watch. <laughs> you have to watch. Because you know everybody that's committed ain't safe. Y'all wonder why he ain't been building them up. Them classes, like, this is why. See, because now you got a proven product, and it works. 
young boys, they know Coach Prime cool. They know he know all the superstars. They know he know all the NFL players. They know he got scouts and owners and everybody else at their practices, at their games, every day, every week, at home, on the road. It don't matter. That's when he is a problem to everybody. You don't believe me? Keela and Russell is an Alabama commit. Prime said, we don't care. Juju Lewis, USC commit. Prime said, we don't care. Cardi Smith, USC commit. We don't care. Four stars, five stars, we're flipping them all. Nobody's player is safe. And once they lock their quarterback in, it's going to get bad for everybody else. Because it's going to be flip season. And when the superstar, oh, superstar is going to show up on the sideline this season. They bad. Well, they really ain't never left because it's always some superstars on that sideline every week when they're at home. I told y'all two weeks ago when they went to UCF, UCF had over 200 and some recruits at their game. They did not come to watch UCF. They came to watch Colorado. And everybody in the country know it, including UCF. So what are you going to do when the whole freaking world is watching Colorado shine and there's nothing you can do about it. But right, bad article, make another hating video, everything in your power to try to tell other people what Colorado is doing wrong. How's that negative recruiting going to work for you this year when that team ain't nothing but a bunch of bums a bunch of gangsters, a bunch of rappers. When the NIL budget is as big as Alabama's, what you going to do when the playing field is equal? Because once they win this game, the playing field will be equal on all parts. Now, the question is, who's going to be in this Big 12 conference? The Oklahoma to Colorado's Texas. Because that's what it's going to be. As long as Coach Prime is at the helm. Coaches might leave, get new jobs, get hired, get better positions, move up. But there's always somebody else. And when you know the right people, and you know enough people, and Nick Saban is always a phone call away, what are you going to do, Big 12? What are you going to do, NCAA football? Open the door, because we come. Thank you. God bless you all, man. Be safe.